Welcome to part two um, of this past paper question involving probability. Um, one of you has asked me to help with this question, yeah? so before we start, uh, you know the drill. We have to give credit to Cambridge Examinations because this is their question. Uh, we are just here together now to, to solve it and to help each other uh, to understand it. Okay, so what's going on? This, this boy, Kenwin, uh, is playing um, a board game and he's rolling two dice and the amount of steps he can move is the sum of those two dice. Yeah? So. Um, What's going on now? To win the game, he must move exactly to place 100. Yeah, so he, you have to be exactly there, and then he will win it. Kenway now is on place 97, so he's over here, yeah, the shaded uh, square. If his next throw takes him to 99, he has to move back to 96. So if he rolls a two, yeah, which are two ones, okay, then he will have to go back to 96, yeah, because we go back three spaces, it says one, two, three. Okay, that makes sense. If his next throw takes him over 100, he will stay on 97. So if he rolls a four or a higher, so let's say he rolls a seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is too much, he will stay at place 97. Okay, we have finished uh, an uh, analyzing the situation now. What is the question? Find the probability that he reaches 100 in either of his next two throws. Okay, so that could be in his first throw that he wins or exactly gets to 100 or in his second throw. Okay, that's going to be in either of his next two throws. All right. So I'm just going to, I'll try to structure the workings as good as I can because he's got three chances if you like. He can roll a three straight away in his first roll, yeah, and then he will have won it. He can also roll a two, but then he has to roll a four afterwards. Do you agree with that? If he rolls a two first, then he goes back there, then he has to roll a four in his for, for his second roll in order to win it in either of his next two throws. And the last chance of winning it is rolling, let's say, uh, bigger or equal to a four, yeah, that will, which will bring him over a hundred, so he will stay at ninety-seven. But then he has to roll afterwards for his second roll a three, yeah, because then he will stay at ninety-seven. So then he has to roll a three to win it. Okay. So these are the three chances. I'm going to find out now. I'm going to calculate the probability of each uh, option, and then at the end I will add those three probabilities to get the. Yeah, let's say the final probability of winning it in either of his next three, uh, next uh, two throws. Okay, so let's start with the first one, rolling a three. What is the chance of rolling a three? Well, he could roll a one and a two, yeah, which is a three, or a two and a one with two dice. Yeah, those are the only two successes of rolling a three. And out of how many possibilities? Well, with two dice, as you saw in the first video, you have 36 uh, possibilities. So you have two out of 36, which is a fairly small chance. But yeah, you only have two options yeah, out of 36 possibilities, yeah? so two out of 36. Okay, so that's the first probability. Now the second one, rolling a two, and then he has to roll a four. So to roll a two, what can you do? You can only roll a one and a one. Yeah, that is the only possibility of rolling a two. And then he has to roll a four, which could be a three and a one. He could roll a one and a three, and he could roll a two and a two. All of those will give them, uh, give him four. Okay, so in probabilities, a one and a one, that is a chance of one out of 36. Yeah, that's only one possibility out of 36 combinations. Uh, and then times, because then he has to roll a four, which is, or which are three possibilities out of 36 combinations. Yeah, and that multiplication is going to give you 3 over 1296. Perhaps your calculator already simplifies that, but I'm just going to leave it um, as an unsimplified answer. Okay, so that is the chance of rolling a 3 in his first roll, and this is the chance of rolling a 2 and then a 4. Okay, but now the third option he has, rolling more than a 4, 
And then he has to roll a three. Okay, so not just more or a four, it's a four or more, yeah? Greater or equal to a four. So a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a 10, 11, and a 12. Now we could find all those probabilities of rolling a 12, 11, 10, nine, yeah? up to a four, but that's gonna take me, yeah, perhaps a little bit uh, of a long time. Easier or quicker is to say, well, that is the same as one minus the chance of rolling less or equal to a three. Yeah, and hopefully you are familiar with this rule. Yeah, if the chance of rain tomorrow is uh, 0.2, then the chance of no rain is one minus 0.2, so 0.8. So I have a 20% chance of rain. That means I have an 80% chance of no rain because together it needs to be a one. Okay, so that will be a little bit quicker because rolling a three or less that is only rolling a three or a two because a one is not possible with two dice because the lowest you can throw with two dice is a two, yeah, which is a one and a one. So we're gonna find out these, um, these chances of rolling a three. Well, rolling a three we know is two out of 36, okay? So I'm going to uh, continue now. So that is one minus, so two out of 36, Plus, what is the chance of rolling a 2? Well, that is a chance of 1 out of 36. Yeah, 1 out of 36. So that together is 3 out of 36. So 1 minus that is going to be 33 out of 36. Now, of course, I don't have enough space. So I always have too little space. Can I move it? No, I can't. So oh, that's gonna mess it all up. So, okay, I'm just going to, to continue in the corner here now. This is the chance of rolling a four or more, 33 out of 36, because I found a chance of rolling a three or a two, and then I did one minus that chance. So the chance of rolling a four, four or more is 33 out of 36, but then he has to roll a three, yeah? So after this, he has to roll a three. The chance of rolling a three is two out of 36. So what do I do now? Or I can, I can perhaps put it here in the corner. I have to do the chance of rolling a four or more times two over 36. And why do I times it? Because if I roll a four or more, more then I have to roll a three. That's why I times it. That's going to be 66 over 1,296. And let me put a blue circle around that one too, as I did for those other chances. Okay, so I have three options. Again, rolling a three straight away, two over 36. Rolling a two and then a four, that chance is three over 1,296. And my final option is rolling a four or more and then a three, and that chance is 66 over 1,296. Now, what do I have to do now finally? So what is the probability yeah, that he reaches one in either of his next two turns? Then I plus the three probabilities of my three options. Yeah, so I will do two over 36 plus three over 1,296 plus 66 over 1,296. Okay, and if you work that out, that's going to give you 141 over 1,296. And again, perhaps your calculator simplifies that. Uh, you don't have to simplify probability, uh, but if you do, it doesn't matter, but make sure you do it properly. But your final answer then is 47 over 432. Okay, hopefully you were able to follow uh, my steps and my workings. It's a little bit messy because that is, uh, yeah, uh, due to the fact that I don't have a lot of space here. Um, but make uh, sure to ask me if you have any questions left, okay? Hopefully it was useful. Explainingmaps.com for more free resources. And I wish you a very pleasant day. Bye-bye.